People might know I'm not a big fan of fruit uh, in the diet. Uh, the reason why is because it's too high in sugar, uh, simple sugars. Now, the thing is, I, I do like berries and I like uh, low sugar fruits that are usually classified as vegetables, such as eggplant and tomatoes. Um, but people might wonder, what is a fruit? Okay, because we're gonna get into berries. Why why do I support the use of berries? Okay, and are berries a functional food even? So in botany a fruit is a seed bearing structure in the in flowering plants that is formed from the ovary after flowering. Fruits are the means by which flowering plants, also known as angiosperms, uh, angiosperms uh, reproduce. Uh, sexually, uh, disseminate their seeds. Edible fruits, in particular, have long propagated using the movements of humans and animals in a symbiotic, rela a symbiotic relationship that is the means of seed dispersal. Uh, people know that I like bats, uh, particularly fruit bats. Fruit bats are excellent at, they're excellent seed dispersal machines. When they consume fruit, they then excrete the seeds through their feces, which acts as fertilizer. So for one group, so basically what happens is the humans and, and other animals act as seed dispersal and nutrition comes from the fruit. Humans and many animals have become dependent on fruits as a source of food. Consequently, fruits account for a substantial fraction of the world's agricultural output, uh, such as the apple and pomegranate, have acquired extensive cultural and symbolic meanings. In common language, fruit normally means a seed-associated fleshy structure uh, or produce of plants that typically are sweet or sour and edible in the raw state, such as apples, bananas, grapes, lemons, oranges, and strawberries. In botanical usage, the term fruit includes many structures that are not commonly called fruits in everyday language. Now, this is important to understand because what people need to understand, remember I did videos about can a fruitarian diet be balanced? Yes, it can because fruit also includes nuts, bean pods, corn kernels, tomatoes, and other whole grains. Botanical versus culinary. Many common language terms used for fruit and seeds differ from botanical classifications. For example, in botany, fruit is a ripened ovary or carpal that contains seeds, an apple, pomegranate, tomato, or a pumpkin. A nut is a type of fruit uh, and not a seed, and a seed is a ripened ovule. Okay, so in culinary language, a fruit is the sweet or not sweet, uh, even sour tasting produce of a specific plant, a peach, pear, or lemon. Nuts are hard, oily, non-sweet, so this is in culinary usage. Uh, plant produce in shells, hazelnut, acorn. Okay, vegetables, so-called, typically are savory or not sweet produce. Zucchini, lettuce, broccoli, and tomatoes, however, obviously zucchini and tomato are fruits, technically speaking. But some may be sweet tasting, such as the sweet potato, okay, which is, of course, a vegetable because it's a plant part. It's a tuber. Examples of botanically classified fruit that are typically called vegetables include the cucumber, pumpkin, squash, beans, peanuts, and peas, corn, eggplant, bell pepper, and tomato. The spices, chili pepper, and allspice are fruits. Botanically speaking, in contrast, rhubarb is often called a fruit when used in making pies, but the edible produce of rhubarb is actually the leaf stalk and pet petioli of, of the plant. Edible gynosperm seeds are often given fruit names, ginkgo nuts and pine nuts. Botanically, a cereal grain such as corn, rice, or wheat is a kind of fruit, termed uh, caryopis. However, the fruit 
wall is thin and fused to the seed coat, so almost all of the edible grain fruit is actually a seed. Structure. The outer layer, often edible of most fruits, is called the pericarpe, or pericarp. Typically formed from the ovary, it surrounds the seeds in some species. However, other structural tissues contribute to or from the edible portion. Development. A fruit results from the fertilizing and maturing of one or more flowers, the uh, gynoecium, which contains the stigma slash uh, stigma style ovary uh, system, is centered in the flower head, and it forms all or part of the fruit inside the ovary slash ovaries are one or more ovules. That's the seeds, of course. Here begins a complex sequence called double fertilization, a female gamo gametophyte produces an egg cell for the purpose of fertilization. A female gametotype is called a mega gametotype uh, and also called the embryo sac. After double fertilization, the ovules will become seeds. Ovules are fertilized in a process that starts with pollination, which is the movement of pollen from the stamens to the stigma style ovary system within the flower head after pollination, a pollen tube grows from the deposited pollen through the stigma down to down the style uh, into the ovary to the ovule, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it goes on. You can read this on your own. I don't really feel like going over uh, <laughs> botanical reproduction. The parts of a flower showing the stigma style ovary. This is the uh, floral parts, da, 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 that's showing an apple. Now I'm going to, okay, classification of fruits. So this is a dewberry, simple fruit, it's a dry, simple fruit, milkweed. Okay, that's important because you have to remember, not fruit, not all fruit is edible. Remember how many poisonous berries exist in nature, but this here fruit here, milkweed, is not edible. You will get very sick if you try to eat, <laughs> if you try to eat milkweed. So, uh, types of dry, simple fruits, these are some types here, and uh, types of fleshy, simple fruits, berry, stone fruit, uh, palme, or pome. Uh, these are named after, um, uh, what's her name? Pomona, the goddess of, uh, of uh, I think she's the goddess of fruit or spring or something like that in uh, Rome. But the, uh, the pom fruits or pome fruits include apples, pears, rose hips, Saskatoon berry, etc. are a uh, syncarpous fused fleshy fruit, a simple fruit developing from a half inferior ovary pome poems are of the Rosas, Rosacea family, meaning the rose family, hence why rose hips are included. These are bananas, four different kinds of bananas. Strawberry close-up. Okay. Example, okay, these are uh, fleshy interior. Okay, tomato, banana, these are uh, examples of berries. Uh, so, tomato, banana, pepo. Okay. Cranberry, gooseberry, red currant, grape, etc. Aggregate fruits. Some berries are actually aggregate fruits. Uh, let's see here. I'm not seeing any mentioned here. Okay, multiple fruits. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see. Multiple fruits examples include mulberry. Yeah, some berries are actually multiple fruits. Mulberry is Osagi orange, breadfruit. Okay, accessory fruit forms. Okay, now I'm going to move on here. So we went over what fruits are. What are berries? In botany, a berry is a fleshy fruit without a stone. Produced, so it's not a stone fruit. It's a fleshy fruit without a stone produced from a single flower. Now, some stone fruits are actually also... Uh, very good in the diet, such as apricots, uh, plums, things like that, although they do tend to be a little bit higher in sugar. Uh, berries, so defined, include grapes, 
currants, tomatoes, cucumbers, eggplants, and bananas, but excludes certain fruits that meet the culinary definition of berries, such as strawberries and raspberries. Although I include those, these are also low fruit, low sugar fruits, strawberries and raspberries. The berry is the most common type of fleshy fruit in which the entire outer layer of the ovary wall ripens into a potentially edible pericarp. Berries may be formed from one or more carpels uh, from the same flower. The seeds are usually embedded in the fleshy interior of the ovary, but there are some non-fleshy exceptions, such as peppers. Okay, so peppers would be a non-fleshy uh, version of a berry with air rather than pulp around their seeds. This is a kiwi fruit. Many berries are edible, but others, such as fruits of the potato, are deadly. They're from the deadly nightshade family, although so are tomatoes, but tomatoes are edible. Botanical berries. Okay, these are some botanical classification. Okay. In botanical language, a berry is a simple fruit having seeds and fleshy pulp produced from the ovary of a single flower. The ovary can be uh, inferior or superior, blah, blah, blah. Examples of botanical berries include avocado, banana, barberry, also known as Oregon grape, uh, strawberry tree, coffee berries, gooseberry, eggplant, tomato, goji berries, elderberry, Indian gooseberry, Garcinia gummy, uh, guta, Garcinia indica, whatever, grape, Honeysuckle, the berries of some species are edible and are called honey berries, but others are poisonous. Persimmon, pumpkin, cucumber, watermelon, modified berries. Uh, true berries or ba bas baquet or basse may also be required to have a thin outer skin, not self-supporting when removed from the berry. This distinguishes, for example, uh, uh, Vaccinium and Solanum berry from, okay, whatever. Berries that develop from an inferior ovary are sometimes termed epigynous berries or false berries as opposed to true berries, which develop from a superior ovary. Berry-like fruits. Now, some of these berry-like fruits, so some of these berry-like, okay, avocados, these are some some examples of berries, so, uh, da, 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 okay, mulberry fruit, so these are berry-like fruits, but not technically berries, droops, now some of these droops are things that we would consider berries and that I personally consider berries, so, because for eating purposes, these might be considered berries. Uh, so droops are fleshy fruits produced from single seeded ovary with a hard woody layer surrounding the seed. Similar examples include stone fruits. So under berry, you could probably include cherries because they're low sugar, olives, dates are high sugar. I wouldn't eat dates. Plums are okay. Okay. This is uh, apples. But apples are not berries. They're a berry-like fruit. Aggregate fruits. Here we go. These are the ones that, okay, so blackberry, raspberry, uh, mulberry, for example. These have individual little fruitlets. Okay, so they are aggregate fruits. They are nutritionally similar to things like blueberries. Okay. Accessory fruits, such as the strawberry, Okay, that's not technically a berry, but nutritionally, it's similar to a berry. Okay, so for nutritional purposes, the strawberry is a berry. So, uh, let's talk about uh, molecular mechanisms and health role of functional ingredients in the blueberry. Could the blueberry be considered a functional food for chronic disease in human beings? Berries are the best dietary sources of health benefits. These benefits are associated with their specific chemical and biological properties. 
raspberry and blackberry, strawberry, blueberry and cranberry, major bio, they contain major bioactive compounds, uh, contain uh, athocyanins, phenolic acids, ascorbic acid, flavanols, tannins, berry, athocyanids, uh, cyanidin, uh, malvidin, uh, peonidin, petunidin, uh, going on, going on. Okay, so blueberry is one of the most nutritious foods and cultivated worldwide. The global total output of blueberry was 629,720 tons in 2016. Major distributors of the blueberry in the world are the USA, Chile, Canada, Spain, China, Morocco, and 30 other countries. The production of natural food pigments continues to grow worldwide with an annual growth rate, blah, blah, blah. Who cares about f uh, natural food pigments? Is that, yeah. Okay, so uh, five pigments, uh, did, uh, athocyanids, carotenoids, beta, whatever, and chlorophylls, which have been used to color foods. Blueberry with abundant athocyanins can improve vision in anti-cancer, anti-diabetes. So it can improve vision and it is anti-cancer, anti-diabetes, anti-obesity. It's preventive against neurodegenerative and macular degeneration, as well as osteoporosis, can reduce hyperlipidemia, meaning high blood fat and hypertension, as well as heart disease through its apoptosis, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and anti-angiogenesis effect, anti effects. Blueberries. Now remember, if you watched my videos on Bernanda Lapaya, he recommends that blueberries are the best berry, he calls them, or blueberries are tops, I think he says. Uh, so, simple, da, 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 okay. Functional ingredients in the blueberries, the bioactive components in blueberry include athocyanins, polyphenols, and antioxidant properties, pectin, which is a type of fiber, uh, but is included, uh, cyanidin, 3-glucoside, blah, 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 athocyanids, however, athocyanins, including a case of it, uh, hmm, hmm, Preventative of chronic preventative chronic disease of blueberry, anti-cancer and functional ingredients. Blueberry is a good source of athocyanins and phenolic, phenolic acids, which showed not only higher tumor stayer and lower proliferative and anti-apoptotic and anti uh, and anti -ang and angiogenic transcript uh, transcript levels, but also prevent carcinogenesis and reduce the risks of cancer recurrence, as well as having potential as a radio sensitizer for treating cervical cancer. Meaning, it makes people more sensitive to radiation, it makes the cancer more sensitive to radiation. Blueberry anth uh, anthocyanins. Um, and their production with perudic uh, acid can slow the progress of cancer by inhibiting the proliferation, proliferation of cancer cells. Blueberry athocyanin uh, ranged from 1.02 to 1.95 grams per kilogram of, mal of malvidin. 3 glucoside for fresh weight, which has anti proliferative and, and apatotic properties in cancer cells, meaning it stops the cancer from spreading and causes the cancer to kill itself. However, its anti cancer ability using Hep G2 cells is associated with a concentration of athocyanins. Mitochondria benefits from the protective effects of blueberry athocyanin extract uh, against acrylamide toxicity. Uh, the uh, petrostilbene, uh, or I guess that's a pterostilbene, would be how you pronounce that because the P would be silent. So pterostilbene in blueberries can control worsened obdurate my, uh, myeloma therapy and major, th uh, and major therapeutic melanoma, blah, blah, blah. Low bush blueberry proanthocyanids can enhance uh, apoptosis induction in human co uh, colorectal cancer cell lines which represents important. Now, pterostilbene, which is funny because I never actually really looked at the word to pronounce it before. I take this every day. 
I take a concentrated form of that in, ta- in capsule form every day. The dietary food for blueberry husks with probiotics can delay col- uh, colonic cancer. Blueberry juice has similar anti premutagenic activity, meaning it stops mutation, of course, uh, vitamin, uh, to vitamin C, and also acts as a methylation suppressor or methylenate. Uh, trihydrofolate reductase and DNA methyltransferase 1, okay, athocyanin and athocyanidin extracts from blueberry can inhibit the proliferation and trigger the apoptosis. Again, it stops proliferation and increases cancer to commit suicide. It increases cancer's commission of suicide. Blueberry consumption, 400 milligrams daily, can reduce tumor size significantly in mice. So keep that in mind. Blueberry consumption, 400 milligrams daily, can reduce tumor size significantly in mice, which inhibited the proliferation of ovarian cancer cells by downregulating the levels of cyclooxygenase 1 and cyclooxygenase 2. Functional ingredients for prevent, preventative chronic disease in blueberry. Anti-obesity and functional ingredients of blueberry. Obesity is associated with the infiltration of monocytes into and, and adipose tissue, meaning fat. Okay, so let's see here. So athocyanins from blueberries, uh, de-alcohol fermented beverages can inhibit insulin signaling in adipocytes, which induced insulin glucose uptake. So they help increase insulin sensitivity and they reduced glycerol release in adipocytes. Blueberry polyphenols can play an important role in inhibiting uh, adipogenesis, meaning they help stop fat and cell proliferation, meaning they help stop the spread of fat. Intake of blueberry leaf extract reduced body weight by 20% and improved insulin resistance as well as prevented obesity in mice with a high-fat diet. However, blueberry extract possess uh, a therapeutic... uh, uh, Blueberry extract is a therapeutic tool against comorbidities related with obesity. Expression of fatty acid uh, synthase was significantly decreased in the adipose tissue of liver, and so it helps stop fatty liver in the liver and abdomen when wild blueberry consumption was increased. Obesity and diabetes are becoming a global health problem. However, freeze-dried blueberry powder can treat and prevent obesity-related chronic diseases. Okay. Prevent degenerative diseases and functional ingredients of blueberries. The blueberry has excellent antioxidant activity. The anti-proliferative and antioxidants from blueberry juices are associated with athocyanins. Blueberry can prevent many degenerative diseases with daily consumption. Athocyanins can reduce the reactive oxygen species. Blah, blah, blah. Going on. Anti-inflammatory and and functional ingredients. Dietary athocyanins ameliorate inflammation and obesity as well as obesity-associated chronic diseases, phenolic acids, flavonoids, and uh, procyanidins in blueberry extract have antibacterial and anti-inflammatory activity. Blueberry with plenty of athocyanins can increase anti-inflammatory cytokines and reduces oxidative stress and acute ingestion. Uh, Blueberry is used as a functional food for the prevention of chronic inflammation. However, the anti-inflammatory effect is better than that of while blueberry consumption has an overall anti-inflammatory effect. Protect. So remember, when you're eating the whole blueberry, these are operating synergistically. Total polyphenol and athocyanin contents with improving mammal, uh, mammal vision in wild Chinese blueberries were 0.60 to 0.18%. 13 athocyanins were identified, especially malvidin, uh, glycosil- glyc- uh, glycosylated with hexose, blah, blah, blah. The consumption of athocyanin blueberry hastened the recovery of visual acuity after photo bleaching. Athocyanins in berries contribute to eye health, especially cyanidin. 
Three, glucoside in blueberry is a preventative functional food for the prevention of retinal diseases. Blueberry polyphenols have the retinal protective activity against light-induced retinal injury to the eyes, protective li of liver function, hepatitis C virus belongs to the genus blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, if blueberry leaves can inhibit RNA expression of hepatitis C virus. Diets containing blueberries markedly reversed acrylamide-induced alterations in liver exerting strong antioxidant activities, significantly alleviating DNA damage in liver cells. Pre-treatment of blueberry athocyanin can inhibit reactive oxygen species formation, prevent mitochondrial disease, and even dysfunction in mice liver. The athocyanidins and uh, athocyanins in blueberry can inhibit the four enzyme catalytic activities of human hepatocytes, meaning it can help to stop these liver cells from uh, going bad, essentially. Heart disease prevention, blueberry athocyanins eased cyclophosphamide induced cardiac injury and improved oxidative stress and cardiomyocyte apoptosis. Blueberry pumice was abundant procyanidins, possess pro uh, protective effects against diabetes, obesity, and coronary heart disease. However, extrusion processing can increase mo monomer and demers of uh, procyanidin. Blueberry polymers, uh, polyphenols, I'm sorry, prevent adult cardiomyocyte hypertrophy, meaning it helps stop the enlargement of the heart and it uh, and helps stop cell death associated with norepinephrine. Uh, I'm assuming, okay, so anti-diabetic properties, wild blueberry consumption is associated with glucose metabolism. Okay, so it helps with diabetes, it helps you use insulin. Blueberries prevent glucose intolerance and, he, and hepatic ste, uh, stetosis, which is associated with gene expression of hepatic fatty liver, so it helps, not, helps you not get a fatty liver. It improves brain health functionally, okay. Dr. Amen, who I don't really like uh, very much anymore because he went a little kooky, but Dr. Amen, Daniel Amen, he talks about uh, blueberries, he calls them brain berries. Uh, you should read his book, Making a Good Brain Great. Improving brain health and functional ingredients, whole fresh blueberry reduced apoptosis and eased uh, histopathological findings of degalactose treated rat brain, blah, blah, blah. The, the L-galactose pathway was major rat, blah, 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 okay. It has an the antidepressant-like effects of blueberry extract might be mediated by controlling, um, okay, so da, da, da. okay, blueberry leaf was related to increased neuronal signaling. Lung protective properties, the athocyanidin a uh, mixture of blueberry can inhibit the growth of invasive nature of lung cancer cells. So it helps stop lung cancer from spreading, uh, which has very good therapeutic potential in small cell. Now, before I continue, obviously, I'm not a doctor. I'm not an MD. I'm not a DO. I'm not an ND. I'm not a nurse. I'm not an RN, not a nurse practitioner, not an LPN, not a nutritionist, not a dietitian. I'm nothing like that, not a chiropractor. So uh, this video is not medical advice. So water-soluble compounds of blueberry, blah, 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 strong bones and functional ingredients of blueberries, bone mineral density in the distal, blah, 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 okay, the consumption of blueberries in the diet can prevent ovary, uh, ovaryectomy-induced bone loss in rats, meaning when you re remove the ovaries, obviously estrogen and other female hormones go down, which cause the bones to lose minerals, but it can be prevented with the consumption of blueberries. Blueberry can prevent bone loss to increase bone mineral density during bone metabolism, which may be due to lowered femoral uh, mRNA levels of alkaline phosphatase and collagen type. Uh, so it, it enhances immunological effects and functional ingredients. Blueberries alleviate immunomodulation, lighten oxidative stress and inflammation in adults of the metabolic syndrome. Polysaccharides from blueberries can inhibit the tumor growth. Okay, yada, da, da, da. Also enhances hepatic immunity in rats. 
the immunoregulatory effect of flavonoids of blueberry leaves modulates suppression, okay, it prevents cardiovascular diseases. Functional ingredients, okay, so poly, polyphenols in blueberry can regulate the vascular remodeling and improving the endothelial function, both in smoker and non-smoker subjects. For men at blueberries with, da, 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 okay, blueberry derived, da, 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 okay, blueberry consumption can reduce blood pressure, aortic systolic pressure, arterial stiffness, diastolic pressure, and certain cancers in humans due to increased nitric oxide production. Blueberries can improve cognitive decline. Polyphenols have a beneficial effect of ameliorating cognitive decline in aging adults. Especially a polyphenol-rich extract from blueberry increases the memory ability of people with, large with a large variety of cognitive impairments. Three-month intervention with 100 milligrams of blueberry extract can improve episodic. Now, people are like, what's blueberry extract? You can take blueberries. Throw them in a blender blend them up and drink the slush and that's blueberry extract technically cardiovascular risk factors major mechanisms and structural activity of blueberry compounds for preventative chronic disease athocyanins mechanism and structural activity athocyanins are a class of water soluble flavonoids commonly consumed in the diet blueberry athocyanins contribute to anti-cancer anti-obesity prevent degenerative diseases blueberry is a super functional food with lots of health benefits uh, due to its high uh, high levels of flavonoids okay and i'm going to move on with this video Blackberry fruit, a review on its composition and chemistry, metabolism, and bioavailability and health effects. Okay, uh, okay, so let's see. Despite current knowledge of their chemistry research specific to blackberry phenolytic health benefits, metabolism, bioavailability, and mechanism by which they confer health benefits is scarce, blackberry phenolic com uh, compounds have protective effects on age-related neurodegenerative diseases and bone loss in vivo and can inhibit low-density lipoprotein and liposomal oxidation in vitro. Blackberry extra have also exerted anti-mutinogenic effects in vitro and in vivo by modifying cell signaling pathways and suppressing tumor promotion factors. However, the anti-obesity, anti-diabetic, antimicrobial, and anti-inflammatory properties of blackberry phenylic compounds needs investigation. Similar studies that uh, um, elucidate uh, that in vivo physiologically effective concentrations of blackberry phenylic compounds are necessary. Okay, what about strawberries? Since a high intake of fruits and vegetables is inversely related to the incidence of several degenerative diseases, the importance of a balanced diet in relation to human health has received increased consumer attention worldwide. Strawberries are a rich source of a wide variety of nutritive compounds such as sugars, vitamins, and minerals, as well as non-nutritive bioactive compounds such as flavonoids, athocyanins, and these are phytonutrients, of course, and phenolic acids. All of these compounds exert a synergistic and cumulative effect on human health. Okay, they detoxify free radicals, blocking their production to modulate the expression of genes involved in metabolism, cell survival and proliferation, and antioxidant defense to protect and repair DNA damage. The overall objective of the present review is to update, okay, so... Let's get that. Okay. Raspberries. Okay. Let's see here. Dietary guidelines around the world recommend the increased consumption of fruits and vegetables as good sources of antioxidant phytochemicals for the prevention of chronic diseases. Red raspberries are a common and important fruit in the Western diet due to their content of essential nutrients and beneficial phytochemicals, athocyanins and uh, elagatanins and polyphenolic compounds and the major antioxidant phytochemicals present in raspberries, whereas individual phytochemical constitutes of raspberries have been studied for their biological activities. 
Uh, however, intervention studies using whole berries are lacking in literature, the nutritional and phytochemical compositions of raspberries, and their absorption, metabolism, and biological activity are reviewed. Finally, future directions of research are also identified. Mulberries. Okay, let's see here. So... The mulberry belongs to the morose genius, blah, 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 Latin word mora. Mm -mm -mm. Based on existing literature on the mulberry, it will be interesting to review the effectiveness of this multifunctional plant in attributing different functional properties when being incorporated in several food products and to explore nutraceutical applications. Nutraceutical applications means nutrients that work like medicines. Botanical description. Okay, this is just the botanical description. Dietary importance. Fully ripened mulberry fruit has a wonderful mouth-watering taste with a good aroma and flavor. It is appreciated for direct consumption and for making valued added products. Mulberry fruits are recognized for the well-being of humans due to uh, their high nutritional significance. Additionally, mulberry fruits hold a diversity of nutrient elements that play a vital function in human metabolism, carbohydrate, lipid, protein, vitamins, minerals, and fibers. Okay, whereas the athocyanin content is higher than blackberry, blueberry, blackcurrant, and okay, so let's see here. Uh, it's so. The vitamins, so the quantity of protein in fresh mulberry is uh, greater than in raspberries and strawberries and comparable to blackberries, whereas the athocyanin content is higher than blackberry, blueberry, blackcurrant, and redcurrant. Uh, the fruit contains both essential and non-essential amino acids. Essential amino acid total blah, blah, blah is 42%, which is almost equal to certain protein-rich foods such as fish and milk. Hence, it can be considered as an excellent protein source. So there you go. Mulberries can be considered an excellent protein source. Chemical structures of some important metabolites. Da, da, da. Okay. Let's see here. So the sequence of fatty acids is polyunsaturated followed by monounsaturated fatty acids and saturated fatty acids. Among all fatty acids, the PUFA is the main fatty acid in the mulberry fruit. So that means polyunsaturated fatty acids are the primary uh, source of fat in the fruit. There are many organic acids present in mulberry. Uh, such as citric acid, tartaric acid, malic acid, succinic acid, fumaric acid. However, malic acid is primarily found. Organic acid in all species. Mulberry is also an excellent source of some important minerals, including calcium, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, and sodium. Nonetheless, the mineral content differs among phenotypes, meaning different, different types of the uh, mulberry there. Okay, in the food industry, the understanding of the relationship between diet and health by consumers has all has now require has now acquired profound shift in eating pattern and lifestyle transformation. The advent of this consumer understanding has been one of the driving forces in the production of food products that can satisfy both basic dietary requirements and health benefits. Mulberry fruits are famous throughout the world for their mouth-watering taste that makes it suitable to consume either in fresh or as an ingredient in value-added products and for culinary use. It has gained popularity due to consumer awareness and enthusiasm for healthy and low-calorie foods. Okay, so... Okay, the product... Okay, let's skip ahead here. Use of uh, tyrosinase inhibitors is becoming increasingly important in the cosmetic industry due to their skin whitening effects. Okay. Tyrosinase is a copper containing primarily regulatory multifoto. Okay. Respondents are. Most Asian countries in the study. Okay. 
Nutraceutical applications, finally, down to something I care about. Nutraceuticals have various therapeutic properties that are primarily due to their chemical structure, antioxidant, anti-diabetic, anti-hypertensive, hypocholesterolemic. So that means that, okay, so let me translate here. So it has antioxidant. It quenches free radicals, okay? It's anti-diabetic. It prevents diabetes or helps to reverse diabetes. It helps to increase insulin sensitivity. It's antihypertensive, which means that it can help lower blood pressure. It's hypocholesterolemic, which means it can lower cholesterol. And it's antimicrobial, which means that it has action against viruses and bacteria. Uh, hepatoprotective properties, meaning it protects the liver and many more. Some of the traditional formulations containing mulberry as an ingredient are listed in Table 5. Da -da -da. Antimicrobial properties to date a significant amount of research related to the antimicrobial properties of natural plants and their associated compounds as reported. Okay. In another, okay, so let's see here. Uh, it seems to be good against uh, Staphylococcus, was isolated, blah, 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 and it extracted the stem and bark. Da. Okay. Apart from the leaves, fruits, and stems and bark, okay, of the fruit uh, value added products. Okay, also exhibited, okay. also exhibited potential antimicrobial activities. Um, M. nigra juice inhibited uh, antimicrobial, uh, exhibited antimicrobial potential against uh, botulism. Okay, with inhibitions and da, 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 among bacteria, antihyperglycemic property. This means that it's anti diabetic, it helps to lower blood sugar. So, uh, diabetes is now considered the third most life-threatening metabolic condition in the world, characterized by hyperglycemia, meaning high blood sugar. There are more than 170 million people affected by this chronic disease globally, and it is estimated to rise by 50% by, uh, by the year 2030. Uh, with the highest increase forecasted in developing countries like Asia, Africa, and South America. Various studies have reported the anti-diabetic properties of mulberry. The leaves have been included in Chinese traditional medicine since a long time for treatment and prevention of diabetes due to the presence of functional chemical constitutes that suppress raised blood sugar levels following a carbohydrate-rich meal. Polysaccharides in the fruit hold excellent potential for anti-diabetic activity, a significant reduction in fasting serum insulin, homeostasis model of assessment, insulin resistance, fasting glucose level, glycated serum protein, and repair. So it helps stop glycation, which is one of the things that causes aging, and repair of impaired pancreatic tissue. It helps to repair the pancreas of diabetic rats was observed after seven weeks of treatment with this fruit, with the mulberry fruit. Uh, polysaccharides extracted, blah, blah, blah. Antihyperlipidemic properties. Obesity is defined as unusual deposition of fat that extends, uh, that extends risk to health. Uh, it is one of the serious concerns prevailing in, to, in today, uh, prevailing today across the globe. Okay, the effect of the fruit on lipid profile of humans in the age group of 30 to 60 years old was studied after consumption of the fruit for six weeks at a dose of 45 grams per day, a significant decrease in total cholesterol and low density lipoprotein. So in total cholesterol and in particular, the bad, the quote, quote unquote, bad cholesterol levels in the blood was noted. Uh, to decrease. Similarly, in another study on oral administration of the uh, leaf extract at a dose of 12 milligrams three times per day before meals reduced, so it's a tea, uh, it also reduced, or probably a capsule or tea, I don't know if it was double-blinded or not, but if it was double-blinded, it was most likely, I would say, a pill. Uh, the diet-induced uh, diet obese mice was found, oh, 
it's not it doesn't need to be double blind it's mice the diet induced obese mice was found beneficial for lowering down the levels of plasma uh triacylglycerol meaning the fats okay activating the b oxidation system and reducing the lipid accumulation in the liver so it helps to protect against fatty liver disease Okay, mulberry juice in combination with blueberry juice may aid in decreasing the blood cholesterol resistance to insulin and leptin secretion attenuated lipid accumulation. Okay, isolated oxyresveratrol, blah, blah, blah. Recently extracted the leaves, uh, blah, blah, blah. Cordyceps, okay, with cordyceps, which is a mushroom, okay, hence can be utilized as a lipolytic agent to treat obesity, meaning it helps get rid of fat. Anti-inflammatory activity, the presence of microorganisms, bacteria, viruses, and fungi in specific tissues and their circulation in the blood can cause one of the complex vascular biological responses called inflammation. It can damage the body. Okay, da, da, da. cardiovascular diseases and cancers. Studies have highlighted that regular consumption of natural plants with anti-inflammatory activities can help in the treatment of acute chronic inflammation. Recently, uh, with a novel extraction technique, high hydrostatic pressure was employed as an extraction method. Uh, with hydrostatic pressure, extracts ex inhibited the, the in vitro release of nitric oxide and messenger ribonucleic acid expression of nitric oxide synthase and reduction of cytokines such as interleukin-6 and tumor necrosis factor, which are associated with inflammation in lipopolysaccharide-induced blah, 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 okay. Da, da, da. Athocyanids in the fruit have been reported to have anti-inflammatory activity, anti-cancer action, cancer with different forms, blah, blah, blah. Many medications are available in the market to treat different forms of cancer, but successful and safe drugs are rarely available as compared to synthetic and semi-synthetic naturally occurring bioactive compounds, particularly phenolic compounds, are less toxic and safer. Many naturally occurring substances exert anti-cancer activity through apoptosis of tumor cells. Again, that's tumor cell death. Uh, and by arresting the cell cycle, which is thought to be the best way to avoid or fight irregular cell growth. Detailed mechanism of anti-cancer Activity of Moros species, traditionally medicine value of uh, mulberry plant is known to humans from the earliest ages. Clinically, mulberry plant has the potential of inhibition of cell proliferation, uh, most likely due to the presence of flavonoids that are highly effective against certain types of cancer. Some studies reported the role of mulberry in cancer prevention in animal models, purified anti-proliferative lectin from M. alba leaves, induced cell death through apoptosis in human breast cancer and colon cancer cells by inducing essential morphological changes and DNA fragmentation, the root bark, da, 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 neurodegenerative actions. Plants play an important role in treating cognitive disorders. Many medicinal plants exhibit an essential role, blah, blah, blah. There are numerous studies, da, da, da. The role of antioxidants in fruits is well documented in many studies. Uh, Non-athocyanins in this fruit, like rutin, rutin and quercetin, I love quercetin as many people know, have neuroprotective effects besides having multiple bioactive functions. These non-athocyanins have an impact on Parkinson's disease models of the okay, miscellaneous activities in traditional medicine, yada, yada, yada. Okay, it can help inhibit arterial thrombosis. Uh, that was recently studied for cardio. Okay, the alcoholic extract, meaning the alcohol extract of the leaves showed uh, liver protective effects. Okay, the juice is helpful in the prevention of foodborne viral infections by inhibiting the internalization and replication of morine neurovirus, uh, wherein it may affect the adherence. Okay, from, okay, conclusion. Natural products are now being re-emphasized in order to address a variety of health issues. Keep that natural products are now being 
re-emphasized in order to address a variety of health problems. The correlation between health and diet is well established and consumers are becoming more conscious of their eating habits. I wish. Investigating these connections has resulted in the creation of functional nutraceuticals and pharma foods, which are now dominating the global nutrition market. The current review intended to highlight the significance of this uh, plant here, this mulberry plant. The extracts, blah, 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 yada, 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 antioxidants, and I'm moving on. I like to try to have about mm, a can of tomato paste a day. So why? Tomato is a functional food. Tomatoes are the fourth most commonly consumed fresh vegetable and the most frequently consumed canned vegetable in the American diet. There is emerging epidemiological data supporting the connection between increased tomato consumption and reduced risk of, for both cardiovascular disease and prostate cancer. The reason why... And I'm not even going to talk about the phytochemical compound myself, but the potassium in tomatoes, especially in concentrated tomatoes like tomato paste, it's almost unbeatable, okay? So they will summarize the nutrient and phytochemical content of tomatoes and tomato products and how these bioactive components might act together to modulate disease development. Recent animal studies have investigated tomatoes, lycopene, and prostate cancer. Uh, these animal studies also suggest that diets containing tomatoes may decrease the risk or progression of prostate cancer due to the frequency and extent of tomato consumption, the supporting epidemiological and animal data which connect increased intakes with decreased cancer and cardiovascular disease risk, tomatoes' role in the American diet is of undeniable importance as part of a healthy diet. Now remember, not ketchup, tomato paste is what I eat. So this is the physiochemical function and nutraceutical property of eggplant flowers obtained by differing, different methods of drying. Okay. So uh, in recent years, the food industry has focused its efforts in the development of new products with properties that not only provide uh, – now this might be – now eggplant flour – might be a very viable alternative to grain-based flours for those that need lower carbohydrate diets and might want a little bit more phytochemical pop. So the significant correlation between the regular intake of phytochemicals and the prevention of, their, of these lifestyle-related diseases, antioxidants have attracted great attention as possible agents to prevent disease uh, related to oxidative stress. And remember, pretty much all diseases, especially chronic, well, pretty much all chronic diseases are related to oxidative stress. The antioxidants used by the food industry can be either from natural sources or from a synthetic origin, such as uh, butylated hydrox, whatever. Eggplant is an economically important vegetable crop from the tropical and subtropical zones of the world. This crop produces fruit of different colors, sizes, and shapes. Eggplant is a valued vegetable for its a valued fruit. It's a berry <laughs> for its composition in phytochemicals considered as nutritious Pharmaceuticals, in particular polyphenols and dietary fiber. In Mexico, eggplant production was 172,112 tons in 2016. It is mostly exported to the United States as this vegetable is not commonly consumed domestically, which is a sad, sad thing. They should be eating these eggplants due to the lack of information regarding its preparation and characteristics. Eggplant has a non-climacteric -clim uh, pattern of respiration, which leads to a short shelf life despite being harvested in immature stages of development. Therefore, the use of eggplant is suggested as flour, so it helps increase the shelf life of the eggplant, which has high nutritional value, which can also be used as an antioxidant of natural origin. Okay, eggplant flour uh, produced, blah, 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 labeled eggplant minced and dried, yada, yada, yada. Okay, which implies long drying times. Okay, the results of the nutritional composition of, of the eggplant flowers are shown in table one. Eggplant flour has low values of moisture, duh, uh, below the Mexican standard, the da, 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 okay, nutritional components of different, okay. 
Flour having moisture intended is, since the lower moisture content in flour shows a better storage stability, the range of average ash content determined okay, is similar to uh, the eggplant ash content of other investigations compared to, okay. Trying to, they reported the average fat content, yeah, uh, yeah. Physiochemical parameters, the pH, da, da, da. Okay, with exception of... Da, 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 okay. All chromatic functional properties. The water holding capacity of the whole samples. Da, da, da. It's fundamental and viscous foods. Da, da, da. Okay. Phenols are a large group of phytochemicals that are considered responsible for health benefits. Plant polyphenols can scavenge free radicals. The total phenol content was markedly higher in samples of tea. Okay. While it was lower okay, in other samples, it has found that eggplant displays an important intraspecific variation for the composi composition traits studied and in some cases, there are considered considerable differences among varietal types. Phenolytic compounds of eggplant flowers, uh, da, da, okay, total flavonoid content, the total flavonoid content of different eggplant flowers is shown in table, blah, blah, blah. Total ketchikan content, the content of total ketchikans was maintained in the range of 1,240 to 3,022 milligrams per kilogram of flour, which reveals a significant difference between tannin content of flour, uh, of, I'm sorry, of the four eggplant flower extracts. Total athocyanids content differ, differed between the uh, methods. Okay, antioxidant capacity. Currently, there are numerous methods to measure antioxidant capacity, blah, blah, blah. Using vitamin E, antioxidant activity of eggplant flowers, blah, 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 blah. Okay. The degree of burn, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. flower preparation. You can read this on your own if you'd like. I'm going to move, okay, functional properties. Uh, I'm going to move on with this video, but you can, of course, read this on your own if you'd like. This is, again, going into the total phenol properties or phenol composition. The high added value compounds contained in plant products, this is about uh, bell peppers, okay? So the bell pepper is an exotic vegetable with high nutritional value that, after processing, leaves wastes, peels, uh, peel seeds and leaves that represent desirable raw material for obtaining phytochemical compounds. This review summarizes and discusses the phytochemical profile of bell peppers and their related biological property. Bell pepper fruits, seeds, and leaves contain bioactive compounds, phenols, flavonoids, carotenoids, tocopherol, and pectic polysaccharides that exhibit antioxidant, antibacterial, antifungal, immunosuppressant, and immunostimulant, immunostimulant properties and anti-diabetic, anti-tumoral, and neuroprotective activities. Remember, peppers are a berry and have a potential use as functional food additives. Okay. Now, I also want to let you know that a red bell pepper is loaded with vitamin C. It could really be considered almost a vitamin C supplement. It's that rich in vitamin C. So this is from WebMD. This is some of the uh, health benefits of peppers. Technically a fruit, be uh, red peppers are common as a staple in the vegetable produce section. They're also an excellent source of vitamins A and C. Each half cup of raw pepper provides you with 47% of your daily recommended intake of vitamin A and 159% of your vitamin C intake. Uh, immune system support. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant. Uh, immune system, blah, blah, blah. It's anti-inflammatory. It improves eye and skin health. Red peppers are a rich source of several vitamins, minerals, and antioxidant compounds. Interestingly, red bell pepper is also the only capsicum variety that contains little to no caps uh, capsaicin, the compound responsible for its spiciness. And uh, that's going to be all for this video. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, that's it. This is about berries as a functional food.